That's hot. I was like, I'm gonna record making the coffee. It's gonna show that I'm about to get stuff done today. Then I was like, well, you gotta drink it so that it's like, now it's time. And then I'm, like, I'm, an, I'm an idiot. What's going on, smart people? After getting that unsolicited lesson in thermodynamics just now, today I'm going to be working on the physics GRE. And I'm gonna spend the majority of the day working on classical mechanics, gonna chip away at that. And as you can see, I've got the LaTeX document open. I'm already making great strides in this effort. You see, classical mechanics is the field that I feel the least prepared for, so I think throughout this whole studying endeavor, I'm going to spend the most of the time on this. And based on the layout of the chapters, it looks like the classical mechanics section is only like 30 or so pages, so what I'm probably going to end up doing later, after I run through this, is I might go rent the, the Taylor classical mechanics book, because I thought I had it, but for some, I guess I never actually bought the book. I guess that's one of those books that I rented. I have all the other physics books that you could need, but I don't have a classical mechanics textbook. Maybe that's why it's the hardest field for me. Don't get me wrong, I feel pretty confident with my ability to solve classical mechanics problems, but that's not what the problem is. It's solving them quickly that I need to work on. And it seems like the sections that are broken up in this book are what you so, would sort of expect them to be, right? It starts off with blocks on a ramp, tension, uh, circular motion, kinematics, energy, so momentum. So it looks like this is pretty comprehensive, and I think more than anything, it'll, it'll serve as a point, something pointing at, hey, Andrew, you need to go look deeper into this not using this as the end-all be-all resource for studying classical mechanics. Even though this is only 30 pages, there's no way in hell I'm going to try to get through 30 pages of a classical mechanics uh, workbook in one day. I'm going to try to limit myself to about 15 or so pages. That's the goal for today. So I will see you guys when I have something interesting to talk about regarding classical mechanics. Actually, I just want to point out that I think it's funny how they have on the classical mechanics page they have what seems to be a direct product state in quantum mechanics in terms of like Klebsch-Gordon coefficients. So maybe classical mechanics is very different from what I was expecting. Okay, I'm about an hour, hour and a half in right now, and I gotta say that this is really conflicting with the way that I usually solve physics problems, which is good, which it means that I'm learning something about how to study for this test. Uh, but let's take the famous like block on the plane example. I'm the kind of person, block on an inclined plane, I'm the kind of person that rotates the reference frame and then does the trig to see which term gets the cosine and which one gets the sine. This book is coming at it with the angle of, no, take the limit that the angle goes to zero so that you don't have an inclined plane anymore. Uh, which term survives, the perpendicular term or the parallel term? The perpendicular term, then that one gets the cosine. So it's very fast ways of like skiing from problem to problem or from obstacle to obstacle uh, that I'm just not quite conditioned to think in terms of. Uh, I, I cling to the rigor, I think, um, and that's been a problem of mine. You can call it a problem or not. It's definitely a problem when it comes to this exam because there's no time for it. You need to be able to see these kinds of things right away. So it's very useful for this test. But as it stands right now, I think after the exam, I'm still going to cling to my rigor, but I might, you know, pick up some of these things as logic checks for later on to be like, this is what I got when I went through the math as it is. Uh, does it make sense based off of these limiting cases and stuff? That's what it is, is this is really good for teaching you to think in terms of limiting cases so far. But I'm going to keep it going for a little bit longer. I'm going to get back to it. It was pouring outside for like the past half an hour. It was really distracting and I'm glad that it stopped. Uh, and I keep getting emails from my advisor asking me to do some stuff with my internship, which I, I'm happy to do. But uh, I'm going to try to get a nice stretch of studying done for this for a little bit more. And then I might call it a day and go back to doing internship stuff. So I will see you when I am done with this. Okay, that is enough classical mechanics for one lifetime. I'm sure I'll do more of it tomorrow, but now I need to move on to doing some internship stuff. And the problems are really good. They're really good for getting the cobwebs off. Um, there's one problem in particular, it's actually the first or second one, where it just has a block on an inclined plane, and the block is subject to some friction, and then uh, you also have an opposing force trying to push it up. And it asks, what's the acceleration of the block? Does it make it up or does it go down? So I thought that, I thought that, that was a pretty good question. Um, and I'm debating making a video on how to solve it, just because it seems like some of you want me to do more of those 
university level kinematic stuff. So let me know in the comments if a problem like that is something you'd be interested in seeing solved. Because it kind of goes over a lot of important things, uh, like it goes over multiple forces, friction, angles, so it might be a good problem to do. Let me know in the comments section if you'd like to see it. But that's going to do it for this little physics vlog. Vlog. TM. Uh, but before I go, I just want to read one comment that I just got. It says, hey Andrew, this comment may be unrelated to this video, but I just found out I got fives on both AP Physics and Calculus exams. So congratulations, Diaming787. Sorry if I pronounced that incorrectly. That's awesome. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this kind of video, and I'll see you guys there.